Hi everyone, this is Bobby from BN-Games.com and I'm here with my childhood computer. It's not really my childhood computer. It's not the same exact one I grew up with, but it's very similar. Um, it's a Packard Bell PB uh, 4225 CD. Now, my original Packard Bell was a Legend series, but as I understand it, these particular models were all the same, same chassis, same hardware. Um, the label that or model number changed depending on where you purchased it. So mine was the Legend series, this one is a PB, but it's exactly the same thing. Uh, this is a Pentium 1 60 megahertz PC. Uh, I bought it off of eBay, um, sight unseen. Um, the only thing I knew is that it powered on. I had no proof that it had any video or that there was any operating system, even a hard drive. I had no idea. My idea for this is this is going to be a little bit of a series. I don't know how many parts it's going to be, but I'm going to try to restore this computer to the way I, or as close to as I had it um, in 1993, 1994, um, when I was growing up. This wasn't my first computer. My first computer was actually a Tandy 1000 series, but um, I grew up cutting my teeth on Windows 3.1, and that's exactly what I intend to do with this thing. Now, I've already booted this up. You know, spoilers, it actually powers on. It does have a hard drive, and it has Windows 95 installed on it. And um, in part two or part three, depending on how this goes, um, I'll show you what I found on there. I actually don't have a mouse, a PS2 mouse I can plug into here to really, you know, show this correctly with a capture card. Um, whoever had this was addicted to porn, let's put it that way. But um, I am going to put Windows 3.1 on that. I've already purchased another hard drive off of eBay. Um, this one is apparently working. This is a two gigabyte hard drive. Two gigabytes, this thing. And uh, this one um, is very similar to the one that I had in my Windows 3.1 machine. This was manufactured uh, January 10th, no, I'm sorry, um, November 10th, 1995. So I was 10 years old when this, uh, a little over 10 years old when this was manufactured. So I don't even know what's on this hard drive to be honest, but the one that's in there, like I said, it's Windows 95 and I plan on pulling the hard drive out and keeping it as it is, at least for a while. I don't know, something about it. I feel like I need to keep it because it has some bit of history. Now I do have my original hard drive from my original Packard Bell. I'm not sure it works. Um, the last time that drive was used was about 10 years ago now, maybe even older. Um, the last time it was used, my mother used the computer and she told me she couldn't get the computer to boot and I don't know what happened to it. I honestly don't know. She, they pulled the hard drive out, they kept it, and um, I'm going to probably throw it in this thing and see if it boots up because that did have a Windows 3.1.1 installation that also has files with my original voice recordings when I was about 10 years old. Stuff like that, which I want to show. Um, I, I, generally speaking, you can't just take a hard drive from one computer and put it into another and expect it to work. Um, in the newer Windows series, it'll, you know, it'll try to install drivers if the hardware is different. But for Windows 3.1, I have no idea. I've never tried it before. Even though the hardware is very similar, it's not exactly the same. Uh, this is a different video card, as I, as I can tell. I know it has a different sound card because my original Win 3.1 installation had uh, Sound Blaster 16. This has something else. I already kind of did a little bit of research on what's in here. But it's functional, and that's the other thing. Trying to get Windows 3.1 to work and then getting all the peripherals to work and finding the right drivers and that sort of thing. I found a media restore disk that is supposed to be for this particular machine so we can get the Navigator, Packard Bell Navigator, which was a really popular application and I sort of remember it. Uh, me and my brother used Kidspace. If you, I, I'm sure there's a very niche audience that remember this, but there was a place called Kid, Kids, Play, ugh, Kids Space that uh, we used to use that came with the Packard Bell. Um, so I'm hoping to get that set up and get this as close as possible. And if you're wondering why, well, why do I do anything retro? I mean, if you're watching this channel, I think you understand why. Um, I am going to put this actually next to my main machine once we're done with it. Um, it does have working uh, CD-ROM. I think the floppy drive works. Um, someone has taken the original plastic piece that held um, that was here as an expansion bay. I'm probably going to find a 5-inch floppy and put that in here. I never had that actually in the original, but 
you know, expands how much software I can put in um, that I find, that sort of thing. So today we're not going to power it on beyond, well, should I say, there's one other surprise. The other surprise is this. Uh, this is the original monitor that came with this particular computer if you bought it as a package. Um, I also got this off of eBay and it just came in. All I know is that it powers on. No idea if it gives a picture, so we're going to find out together as I unwrap this, plug it into the computer and power it on for the first time to see if it's all going to work. I didn't want to record myself struggling getting this out of the box, but she packed it very well. So I'm gonna get the last packing off, plug it in, and let's see if this thing fires up. And there she is, plugged in and ready to go. Um, one problem I found immediately is the VGA cable that the monitor has is chewed up somehow. Um, somebody didn't treat it well, but uh, it plugged into the VGA spot. So we're gonna power it on and see if this thing, well, at least powers on, okay. Well, we got power. Here's a moment of truth. Turn the PC on. Let's see if we get a picture. Oh, I heard the monitor. And we got nice. Well, <laughs> we're getting something. Uh, let's see if I can mess with the monitor adjustments. Okay, so it's been a very long time since I've seen this monitor, but if you, there's these rollers that sit under there, and you can see them. It, it's almost like physically moving it. Not, it's not. It's it's like an analog control almost. But we got a picture. Let's see if we can get to Windows. I have this hooked up to a, a mon um, a Dell keyboard I found, and I'm just gonna tell it to boot. The CMOS battery is dead. Wow. Oh, I want to do scan just because I didn't shut it down properly. And I'm not going to press the key because it should be fine. Well, I decided to run scan disk anyway, so we'll let this run and wait till it gets to Windows. It did allow me to kind of mess with the controls and try to get the geometry correct. Ooh, ooh scared. I wonder if you could hear that. Um, one thing that's strange is I don't remember it being so curved as far as the glass. I mean, I have plenty of monitors, PVMs, arcade monitors, but this has a really distinct curvature that I'm not sure is being picked up on camera. But uh, this is a 14 inch monitor. Um, the one thing I am missing are the speakers. There used to be speakers that used to sit on the housing of the monitor on each side. Um, I only saw one other one of these monitors available that had those speakers, but I didn't feel like spending that kind of money. Those aren't super critical to what I'm trying to do here. Um, the computer was the most important part, and now, well, the monitor. So, monitor's working, it's beautiful so far. It seems really sharp. Um, and uh, I know it's probably pick being picked up somewhat up on camera, but uh, you know, there's some definite yellow yellowing on the monitor, so we may be retrowriting this, I'm not sure. Keep finding problems. Hey, just get the windows, damn it. You booted before. Where's the end key? I don't have an any key. I think whoever had this before tried to delete some stuff. I do know that they removed some of the RAM that was in the computer. Um, because when I first booted it the first time and plugged it into an LCD that I had here on site in my lab, um, it said that it detected less memory. Yeah, I know there's no mouse attached. Let's get to Windows. But, you know, this is definitely a start. Yeah, I can see all the errors this computer comes with. Now, I think this has 64 megabytes of RAM, which for this day and age was quite a lot. Um, more than plenty enough for Windows 95. Um, more than enough for Windows 3.1 for what I'm gonna do. Uh, my original Packer Bell came with four megabytes of RAM, if I'm correct, and we upgraded it to 16 megabytes, I think. But uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's still chugging away. Let's see if I can get that monitor to look a little better right now. And there we go, full screen. And as you can see, right when you click the Windows button, What's that top thing? Uh, let's see if it will focus. It says adult browser. There's more stuff. When I do an actual uh, screen capture with a capture card, uh, 
I'll show you the stuff I found. Um, but yes, we have a working Packard Bell from 1993, Pentium 60 megahertz processor, Pentium 1, 64 megabytes of RAM, Windows 95 currently, and uh, this is gonna be a project. So again, I don't know how many uh, parts this is gonna be, but uh, I intend to do you know, as much as I can, to sh show as much as I can of what I'm gonna do. I think in part two, we'll take the computer apart, take the casing off, take a look at inside, see what this beast looks like inside, um, try to determine some serial numbers um, on some of the extra hardware, because drivers, drivers are hard to find for something this old at this point. Um, and uh, go from there, so yeah. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please do all that subscribe stuff, the bell, you name it, all the YouTube stuff so, uh, you know, I can continue doing this and have people actually watch it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, but yeah, this will be the first of uh, a few blog-like videos, getting my old childhood computer back up and running, and this is a damn good first start. So, anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.